Hello, this is Charlie Lowndes with just a really quick introductory video to the sort of thing that you'll be working on once you get started with AviSynth scripting, following the book step by step. Um, really important to work through one exercise to the next because you'll find as you go through the book you're expected to have done exercise three before you do exercise four uh, because you're going to edit three in order to make four happen if you see what I mean. So starting at the beginning I've just got a slight variation with a couple of mistakes so we'll see if we can spot them and deal with them. This is just a, a message, a caption. I'm using the old traditional programmer's hello world idea. Uh, one of the mistakes is highlighted for us. Um, when you do something slightly silly with a bit of luck it'll come up in red. Uh, this is the text color property for my message hello world. I'm using the hex RGB uh, way of specifying colors. There are others. Um, and I've only done the R and the G, so I've, I need to add the B. Uh, so I need a couple more zeros. And when I do that, it changes out of red into a, a dull gray, saying that's OK. Um, there's still a mistake, actually. And when we look at the video preview, a helpful message comes up. The video preview toggles with the little thing down in the bottom left corner. You do need to get used to the interface um, for all this scripting stuff. And there's help on that in the book. The script error in uh, line two is telling me that it's expecting a comma or a bracket, a brace at the end there. So we'll pop one of those in. Uh, and now we'll update the video preview by looking at the next frame. And there's my hello world. Um, it's in red. It's 240 pixels high. And it's 320 pixels across. So that error has gone away. And just a little reminder here that activity 3.1 is where you really get going. But do use the book. Terribly important to do that. I hope you found that interesting and fun. Uh, there'll be more.